I'm back. Hi everyone, another Craigslist video. You guys asked, I'm delivering, and today it's gonna be interesting. One thing that I didn't include in the last video of my Craigslist ad was where I was really looking for these guys. So this time I'll make sure to tell you guys because maybe you would be interested. However, these videos aren't gonna always come out like a couple days after I make them. So just be aware of that. You can look in your area if you wanna help out and or adopt. But the main thing is, is that I looked at New York this time. But thanks guys for tuning in. I am going to be reviewing Craigslist pet ads, mainly hamsters, but sometimes I'll mix it up with a few different animal species. And we are going to look at their care that they came from prior to being rehomed for educational purposes. And just so that we can see if in 2024, we finally got good care that's being rehomed. As you are aware, KT has dominated the markets here in America and their care and cages have been really bad. So seeing that in 2024, we're able to order stuff from overseas that's doing it better overseas versus that in America, which is doing poor. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just hope that there's some good ads in this video this time. And as always, we have a rating system here. Five is positively perfect. Four, doing a good job so far. Three, needs improvement. Two, yikes, not good. And one is, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. It's basic neglect. And that's just so you guys can get a sense of how I'm feeling about the care that I'm seeing in the ad. All right, so this one looks to be from Worcester. It's hamster needs home. I have a young male hamster for rehoming, comes with cage, food and treats, water bottle and food bowl. Small rehoming fee applies, serious inquiries only. I don't understand why people always say serious inquiries only. It's just, you will get what you get. Even I have people that flake and they seem serious. And when I say flake, it's both for the rescue side of things where, hi, I also run a small animal rescue for those who are new here. Rescue side and also just when I'm selling stuff, people just flake all the time. Hey, is this available? Immediately responds, oh my gosh, yes. Would you like to inquire more about it or would like to meet? Nothing. The first photo is of a dwarf hamster that's being held and it looks pretty healthy from the photos that they're showing. And then the very last photo is what we're gonna be talking about, which is the cage. <laughs> oh no. As a refresher, in America, 600 square inches is the minimum cage size requirement. So that's width times length. The height doesn't include it. The height is only there so that you're aware of how much bedding depth you can add as well as how much space is available to add hides and a wheel, a large enough wheel that is. If you have something that is smaller than 600 square inches, once you measure your own enclosure because you're curious, then that stuff falls below the minimum. You can definitely do better and there is care guides out there. There's still a lot of misinformation, unfortunately, but California Hamster Association is where you can go to to find the care guides and the cage page. So in this, we have the KT starter critter trail home, which I've actually reviewed on this channel. Go check it out if you want to learn more. And they replaced the wheel because probably it broke because it's cheap plastic. KT is known to have cheap plastic. They never change. I hate and will crap on KT until KT decides to change its weights, which it's not going to. You know what, I'm gonna keep saying that because it's not gonna change. I bet you when I'm 50 years old, it's still gonna be the same. So they are in it for money, they are not in it for your animal's well-being. KT is aware of what their cages do, they just turn a blind eye to it. All right, so there is only three inches of bedding in here. They are burrow animals, KT. I'm now directing my anger at KT because this person probably probably was just fed information from a pet store that this is appropriate. So KT really honestly is the root blamer in here besides the pet store not providing correct information, but they're relying on KT to do that. It's just the way it is here in America. There's really not good pet laws in place to protect our animals or to protect animals that are being sold at pet stores. I just, people that don't really care too much about them. This right here, too small. It's like 120 square inches of floor space if I remember. They have a flying saucer wheel in here, which is a 5.3, 5.4 inch. And flying saucers provide really weird floor space for them to run on. So when I say floor space, it's because it starts curving. So it's not really like a treadmill where, you know, you're running in one vertical line. It's literally making you turn like this as you're running. And that causes so much pain 
clean down here. Think of a hamster having to run on a flying saucer wheel. It's curving, it's not great. Also, it's small. So if this was just a regular size classic upright wheel, like a treadmill, it would be very tiny. So you might actually be curving your back upward, which of course impacts the spine and it's not good. This is inappropriate, too small, not great. The water bottle is hanging from the top. So in order for the animal to drink water, it has to go like this, or sometimes it can actually touch the tip of it, which is in front of them. They have one hide in here and they have a chew toy, which surprisingly enough, a lot of people don't provide them chew toys. These are chewing animals. Their teeth incisors in the front are constantly growing. If they don't have enough chews or things to grind their teeth down, which by the way, metal is not a grinder, then it causes problems with their teeth. They can break their teeth, impactions or infections. If they grow into the roof of their mouth, it could potentially kill them. And they could potentially stop eating too if they can't even open up their mouth. So this is a dwarf hamster. Usually you see that a lot with Syrian hamsters, but this hamster, the bedding looks clean. So that is still okay. But this is still a yikes, not good situation, but it's like not, it's not like border on neglect, it's more of misinformation. And how long this animal has been with the person, we don't know. They just say a young hamster. They don't provide how long, they don't provide the age, and they don't provide the species. It just says male hamster. Next one says hamster with cage, $20. Looking for a home for a hamster, my boys are not giving it, it the attention it deserves. It comes with a whole setup. So when parents actually buy their kids small animals to teach them responsibility, then when it just doesn't work out because they rely heavily on their child, which is too young to really grasp that concept, then it falls on them. And when the parents don't want to deal with it, guess who gets the short end of the straw? Uh, not you, I was pointing at you guys for some reason, but the hamster. It's just unfair to the animal. Don't get kids small animals unless you, the parent, wants the responsibility to take care of them when your kids don't. Or make it a family pet. There's no reason to just be like, oh, well, that's my kid's pet. No, your kids should not be owning an animal. It should be you, it should be all of you. This makes me mad. And this ad is from Anna we can see right off the bat in here, it is a KT level one starter cage, just in a different fun color. Woo, KT, you're making me mad here. It's 2024, why? Coming back down, we see the old PetSmart I didn't realize I had that on, my bad. We see the old PetSmart really tiny five inch wheel. What is, what is going on? The first two ads were dwarf hamsters, KT critter trail cages, and then five inch wheels. But at least this is a classic upright wheel. It's just way too small. And then we have a critter bath ceramic sand dish, which is good for a hide or good to put in, but it's a little bit small, but good to put in sand bath. And they have nothing inside of here, but it looks like the animal is actually using it as a restroom inside of there. So that's a little grody. They have a food bowl, which you don't need a food bowl. You can scatter feed. They are foraging animals. They would prefer it because it's stimulating. They want to be mentally stimulated or else they get stressed. And then of course the second photo we do see it just, there's nothing Nothing else in here besides just what looks to be less than three inches of bedding depth. All right, next one is Lanchester PA. And it says hamster $25. His name is Doolittle. Will come with cage, rolling ball, toys, food, etc. Do you guys see what's in the photo? That's not a hamster. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, hamster guinea pig owners. I'm so sorry. This probably makes you so mad. This is a guinea pig, not a hamster. And hearing they have a rolling ball for it. Guinea pigs, they can't use rolling balls, exercise balls, because their backs are fragile. They cannot bend them. So if they're walking on a not flat surface and it's curving upward, it could seriously damage their spines. This is yikes. Oh, I forgot the last one. What was the last one rated as? Okay, basically yikes not good for the last one. And if I forgot the first one, it's also a yikes not good. So in this one, there's only one photo to really go off of. So right now I'm just gonna say it's downright neglectful and sad because there's only a small bowl of hay. It looks like there's pellets in the bowl and the pellets look like it's taking up a majority of it. They are mainly hay-based diets. So they need like 80, I think it was 80% 
and hey, and then there was only like maybe 15% pellets. So the pellets are supposed to be very low in their diet. It's mainly hay, but this poor guinea pig, just there's no stimulation, no hides that we can clearly see. It's a KT guinea pig starter, Kate. I'm very familiar with KT. And it's just one singular guinea pig. Guinea pigs are social creatures. They need a companion. Yeah, no, this is not a hamster. Moving on. We're in Boston now because why not, I guess. Does hamster $5? If you're looking for a pet hamster, hit me up. I recently bought two very cute Chinese hamsters from a breeder, both female. Unfortunately, they do not seem to get along, so looking to sell one of them, not really worried about price as long as you promise to take good care of the hamster. Promises really don't mean anything. I'm just gonna say that right now. This person just screams, I'm very ignorant, because Chinese hamsters are solitary. You can look up this information online, it is there. I can tell you right now, solitary, solitary, solitary. And getting them from a breeder, the breeder is absolutely irresponsible. If they told you, yeah, you can get two of them, or maybe they'd even inquire. That is a really unethical breeder. That is just someone that wants to make a sale. So no, and, and it is a breeder box. You can clearly see that these two photos are from a breeder box. So if this is the way they keep the hamster, you know that they are unethical. At first I thought this was a mouse and honestly I'm still giving mice vibes because I swear they look much different from this so I had to pull up another ad just now because I was like okay this they don't look right so leave me down below in the comments if you really think this is a Chinese hamster. Anyways let me continue. Hamster is around three to six months old very social with humans. Next one we're jumping to which is in reading. I don't know where reading is. A reading rainbow. So this is, I have two Chinese hamsters. They are females. They must stay together. No, stop it. Stop. Oh my gosh, what is up with Chinese hamster owners that makes it so that they're like, oh, we need to get two. No, 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 no. Chinese, solitary, solitary, good. God gravy, man. They do not stay together. They come with cage and accessories. The price for them is 20. I don't have the time to give them the attention they need. I hate the fact that people say this. They are nocturnal animals that you can literally provide them with like 20 to 30 minutes of like just interaction time. It's okay. End of the night when they come out, just be like, oh, hi there. Interact, give food, look at them, watch them, appreciate them. That's it. That's really it. Unless you want to on the weekend when maybe you're off and free can provide them with outside their cage time. It is fine. There is really no excuse for small animal keeping. They could become watch only hamsters and that's perfectly fine because they are thriving without you needing to interact with them. It's a win-win if you don't have time. This is a poor excuse. I'm hating this. I'm sorry I'm getting revved, but you like munchy rage and this is what the channel is. <laughs> based on. No, it's not what it's based on, but it's just in these types of videos, the frustration really comes through. And you guys tell me that too in the comments that your frustration comes out as well. And it's good to have this type of conversation because maybe we will be taken seriously. <laughs> I'm looking at this Chinese hamster versus the one that I see in the box. It don't look Chinese. It looks like a field mouse. No, and it doesn't even have the back. So with Chinese hamsters, they should have a, a pinstripe. I bet you this is just a field mouse. That's a field mouse because they have really skinny bodies and this, this doesn't look like a Chinese hamster. Okay, they tried bamboozling me. This is not a hamster, so. <laughs> Two times now, uh, the ad says hamster and it's not a hamster. I don't, mm, let me know what you guys say. I'm not, I'm losing my mind here. <laughs> That's been happening a lot lately of losing minds. But again, in this one with the two females, the one that clearly shows the KT Critter Trail cage that's in reading. Why? It's the KT two tier Critter Trail cage. You could tell by the pattern of the colors. <laughs> I hate this. Why? This video is just KT Critter Trail prisons. Again, prisons, they're all just prisons. So moving on, Washington DC now. Hmm, I love how I typed in New York Craigslist hamsters and all I'm getting is non New York ads. Hamster for sale with food, $50. Oh my gosh. And guess what guys? It's another KT Critter Trail and it's the blue one. And they have a different wheel for it because that's not the wheel that it comes with, but it is of a Syrian hamster. And it says hamster for sale with food and cage. Pet and kid friend provides no information about the gender, no information about the breed, and no information about the age or how long they've had it for. It really is, I don't care about this animal. My child probably 
gave up because it does say kid friendly in here. And the bedding, I don't know why the bedding looks dirty, but it just kind of does. But I know that that's a mixture of, that looks like PetSmart's brand of their version of Carefresh. But $50, they're just trying to make their money's worth back. That's a lot. That sucks. I hate all of this. Oh yeah, that's right. We're supposed to be rating these. Okay, so um, I don't know about the fake hamster, Chinese hamster, because you're just seeing a breeder box. So I really can't tell you much more, but the ones that you can see that are two together, that is yikes not good. Now is it downright neglectful and sad? We can't see the rest of the enclosure. Yes, it is neglectful in a sense that they aren't separating them. However, we're trying to judge the enclosure. Why? But they look young enough. That's the thing. They, they definitely look young. So crossing fingers that someone separates them and it's not the vicious cycle of, oh, I don't know any better, so I'm gonna take this animal in because, oh, my kids want one. I hope there's someone educated out there on Craigslist. And why I make these videos in the first place because I encourage you guys to please think of adoption first. Please go out there and look for adoptable animals. They need love, affection, and attention just as much as healthy hamsters from ethically bred hamster keepers out there in America. So for us, there is the California Hamster Association and for Canada, there's the Ontario Hamster Club. Those are the two that I recommend here on my side of the planet. So next one, we have Frederick. Fred, Frederick, Frederick, <laughs> I swear I can read. <laughs> hamster pups, $40, so high, why? We are hamstery, focus on ethical breeding healthy, well-bred, socialized Syrian hamsters to the NHC standards? I don't think they are a part of California's breeding list. All right, so it looks like they are not in the list of ethical breeders here in America, so they're not ethical. They possibly are getting their stock from like, I would say pet stores, maybe even like rodent mills. I, I just don't know, but I saw that there was multiple hamsters, so I clicked on it and uh, God, I hate to have this discussion, but really guys, if you want to become an ethical breeder and get your stock from overseas in your Europe because they are the healthiest lines out there and then import them here to America or Canada, please mentor under people of California and Ontario. Anyways, let me keep reading just because now I'm, <laughs> now I'm into this. We currently have a litter of pups with another on the way and have some spots left on our wait list. Adopters are updated on Pups Weekly. Pups will be ready to go home in three weeks. All pups come with a birth certificate, goodie bag to go home, transition food, and inbox is always open for questions, help regarding the hamsters in your new home. So now the thing is, is that this person seems really set up. So, I mean, it's cool that people have a passion for this, but if you guys are just not understanding genetics and not understanding what stock you currently have, you can end up with very deformed, not well-bred hamsters. There's a group of people out there that are breeding eyeless whites and those hamsters, they should never have been bred. And yet they're doing it because they're trying to achieve a certain color and look and they are claiming that they should be considered ethical because you know look, look at us look at what we're doing we understand how genetics work but yet you're breeding a disability you can't do that that is unethical that is just you and your interests because you think this is cool but the animal suffers in the end you are literally playing god so when you don't understand that your line has this type of defect or if your line has a type of heart defect where actually some of the rescues we took in and we got taken care of at our vets, one of them had an underdeveloped heart and the line actually had heart disease. So this hamster had to be on heart medication and she only survived, I think it was three weeks after that. She went so quickly. I thought that I was gonna have more time with her and she was around, I think three or four months old. I think it was a she, either it was a she or a he, but this was back in, it might've been 2020. I think it was a part of the Sailor Moon litter that I actually posted about on YouTube here. It's a very emotional video. So please be gingerly when watching that video because it really affected me. But yeah, I don't, I just, I feel like ugh, people want to do right, but I think that it's just very hard for them to really have the patience and time and understanding to care 
and to put care into the animals. You know, everything is just on surface level until you actually digest and look deeper that, oh, maybe this isn't an ethic breeder. You know, they posted this on Craigslist, so. I can also provide pedigrees upon request. So all pups are socialized with adults and children. If you're looking to add a new furry friend to your home, feel free to send me an email. You know what? I'm gonna ask her real quickly if they're being mentored. So give me just one second. All right, I'm back. I just got word from one of the leaders at CHA that this person is not being mentored and is not on their list. I mean, I already saw that they were not on the list, but it looks like they're not being mentored. This is not an ethical breeder. I do not promote this person. Cat skills, wow. Oh my God, there's a place called Cat Skills? You guys are so cool. All right, I don't know if this ad's gonna be cool though. Two month old black bear hamster. So black bear is just a nickname that pet stores give or just people in general who don't know better that it's a serious Syrian hamster. It's just Syrian hamster. They come from Syria. That's why it's Syrian hamster. Nicknaming it black bear, teddy bear, golden bear. Just don't. Healthy, happy, and fat. Looking for his forever home. Oh, this is actually located in New York. Hey, we found one that's located in New York. Yay. But there's no age, no when I purchased this. And they did say gender. So there's a gender. But do you see what this hamster's inside of? I recognize this. It's the critter keepers. But bigger. This Syrian hamster is living inside of a travel carrier that has a section where it can drink water. <sighs> this makes me mad. It looks like they might be free because they don't list a price. But if you look inside there, there's a salt lick. No, 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 no. No animal needs salt added because it's in their food. If you give them a salt lick, it's not the same as providing that of a horse or goats with a salt lake. And you could overload their system, causing their organs to malfunction. High sodium intake is not good for them. And then in the other photo, we do see a very bland food bowl. So it's probably one of those cheap ones, cheap food that is. It looks like they do have a carrot in there. So at least they're providing them with veggies. This also is a very young Syrian. If I were to guess from the way it looks, it looks like this hamster is at least two months old. Oh, I don't want to end on a bad note. Oh no. Well, there's really no good. Oh my gosh. I keep forgetting the rating system. Oh my God. Okay. You know what? All of this is just freaking yikes. Not good. But mm, this last case, they don't even have a wheel. It is under 120 square inches of floor space here. It's literally a carrier. So I guess this is the only one in this video where I don't want to live on this planet anymore. This is awful. This is I don't know what I was doing or expecting, so I'm just getting rid of it. So yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching. <laughs> Leave comments down below, it helps out with the algorithm, as well as I wanna hear your thoughts on what you saw in today's video. And if you are a fan of these videos and like the channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you around in the next upcoming videos where we discuss hopefully better hamster care. Ah, oh, New York, or at least surrounding areas of New York. You make me sad. You disappoint me. Where is all the good care? I'd rather people hold on to their animals, but there are gonna be animals out there that people just can't hold on to and or are moving like several states. So if someone really couldn't take their animal with them because they're traveling over a thousand miles, which is absolutely reasonable, hamsters can't really travel very well. They get very stress prone. And if they were born here in America from a rodent mill, more than likely their genetics aren't that great either. You know, there's gonna be cases out there where we will see good care. Stay tuned for the next one. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.